Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am here visiting Punalu'u Beach here on the big island of Hawaii. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting Punalu'u Beach, a beautiful black sand beach here on the big island of Hawaii. The goal for today is simple, to tell you a little bit more about it and to show you around so that you know what you'll find if you choose to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. Hey you guys, we have just arrived here at Punalu'u Beach. You can pick the parking lot right behind me. I think before we get on with the main sections of today's video, I would like to tell you a bit more about this place. Located on the southeastern Kau Coast, about a 35 minute drive from Volcanoes National Park, Punalu'u Beach is one of the most famous black sand beaches in Hawaii. Of course, the main draw to this location are the jet black shores, which make for an unforgettable sight. Besides the black sand, you will also see coconut palm trees, which border the upper edges of the beach. And if you are lucky, you will get to see turtles taking in the sun. Let's experience it together and see what else we can find. The first thing you'll notice as soon as you arrive here at the beach is of course the black sand. This black sand is made out of basalt and was created through volcanic activity. When boiling hot lava came in touch with the cool ocean water, it exploded into a million pieces, which gives us the sand that we have here today. This black volcanic sand gives this beach a very iconic look. You can take some really cool pictures here with the jet black shore and the coconut palm trees in the background. If you feel the sand, you can right away tell that this is way different than regular beach sand. The way that I would describe it is a bit more coarse, which also makes it tougher. This is how it looks up close. It is crazy to consider that the same process which created these grains of sand is the same process which created this whole island. That is mind blowing if I do say so myself. Another reason that makes this beach so popular, it's its wildlife. Despite the many beachgoers, as you can clearly see behind me, this place is a popular destination for turtles. If you are lucky and make your way here at the right time, you could potentially see green sea turtles as well as hawksbill turtles laying on the black sand. They do this obviously to relax for a bit and also to regulate their body temperature. It is worth noting that both of these turtle species are endangered, so it is crucial that we protect them. Along the beach, you will see signs like this one telling you to keep your distance from these creatures. This is necessary in order to protect the turtles from human bacteria that their immune system just cannot handle. Hence why it is very important that you keep your distance. However, that shouldn't stop you from taking pictures and admiring the turtles from a safe distance. I really like this sign right here because it shows you different poses that you can do whenever you do see the turtles. For example, the first one is the Honu hold. You're making it seem as if you're holding the turtle with both of your hands. And the Honu heart, which is basically two people making a heart shape around the turtle. That is very wholesome and ensures that you can get your photo souvenir at the same time that you respect their environment. Throughout the beach, you will also see close-up sections just like this one that ensure that the turtles have a landing place where they can stay and not be bothered by humans. Earlier today, I saw turtles laying down at this part of the beach 
right in front of the lifeguard, but they left before I got to this section of the video. That is too bad that I didn't get to show you the turtles in person. I really wanted to do that, but hopefully you get to see some when you come by. I'm not yet done showing you around. I've been saving something really cool for the end, so follow me. Throughout the beach, you will see these very interesting rock formations, but the one that's right over there is the one that interests me the most. These rocks right here, as you probably have already guessed, are made out of solidified lava. Let's climb up over this way to see what kind of use we get from there. Check it out, you guys. There is way more than I thought from that angle that I had back there. It goes all the way over there, check that out. As we all know, this process of magma solidifying is the way that this island was created. But it is more striking to see this right here than for example, seeing over there that area covered by plants and grass that looks more quote unquote normal. Specifically that area over there that is being hit by the waves, that looks fresh. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks like it was solidified not too long ago, which is wild. Let me show you a bit more close. This place looks crazy. Check this out. This is also a very scenic point as the waves constantly hit the side of the rocks and create this like wild splashes that sometimes get pretty far. This one looks like it's going to be good. Oh, whoa, check that out. That is pretty cool. If you're trying to get up here, just consider that these rocks might be slippery and they're pretty tough. So just be careful, you don't want to fall and get hurt. That would not be a pretty situation. That being said, swimming here is probably not a good idea as the rocks down there are the same as the rocks up here with the addition of very strong currents. I actually haven't seen a lot of people swimming too far away from the shore just because these are very strong waves. Just something to consider. And just looking at this section right here, you can almost imagine the lava flowing and coming in touch with the cold ocean waves and just like, pssst, you know, having a battle for the ages. It is crazy how you can still see the creases on those rocks. I zoomed in a little, but this is what I'm talking about. Check that out. Check it out you guys, we have wandered off quite a bit. That over there, that is Punalu'u Beach. I'm not sure if this area is still considered as part of the beach itself, but it looks very cool nonetheless. All this area right here is covered by solidified lava. And check it out, it is so interesting that you can feel the, the textures and see it all together. This is a crazy experience and something really crazy to witness by yourself. And it is everywhere, as I'm saying, all around you. This is really cool. All right, you guys, I'm heading back over to the beach, but I strongly recommend that you check out this area to the right of Punalu'u Beach. It is really cool to check out an amazing spot for pictures and to admire the beautiful nature of this area. And just like that, you guys, we get to the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked this video as much as I did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna check out more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.